What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. And just so you all know, it is available in e-style and paperback form. Um, okay, so let me start off with a little bit of background. I came up from a very, very poor upbringing. Lower middle income, I guess. I guess it wasn't extremely, we weren't in poverty, but uh, low, lower middle class, um, just maybe a hair, a touch above the poverty line, literally a touch above the poverty line. I remember um, I could not get free college because my mom made $6 too much the previous tax year. Anyway, all right, so you guys all know that I don't like shopping. I, I don't like buying things. I don't like spending money. I always do anything I can to avoid it. And you got to remember, since I came from a really poor upbringing, and I promise you I'm getting to the point, <laughs> my shoes didn't fit right, um, had holes in them. Sometimes I would outgrow them and they would hurt my feet, and I could never ask for a new pair because I felt guilty. Well, this kind of just happened to go into my adult life where I don't buy shoes. And you're probably like, well, I bet you have 25 pair. Okay. I have two pairs of shoes. Exactly two. I have two pairs of shoes, a walking shoe, a workout shoe, and then I have a pair of sandals and a pair of indoor... The fluffy kind. Sandals and I can't think of the word. The the indoor shoe that keep you warm, keep your feet warm. I don't know the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you buy, you always buy them for people for Christmas. So the last time I bought a pair of shoes, this pair, was when, was six years ago. And a subscriber felt so sorry for me because they saw my, what I was wearing in one of my videos. They felt so sorry for me. They sent me a gift card to Nike to buy new shoes. That was six years ago. I have not bought new shoes since. And I don't buy new shoes <laughs> because I feel like I need a new pair or anything like that. I buy them when my feet get wet when I walk. So I finally got to the point, I don't know if you can see this, this black part right here, the black is actually the sole, like the inside of the shoe. So it's worn down that much. And I don't know if you can see this, totally worn down. These used to have a lot of tread on them. They don't have tread anymore, as you can see. There's, they're not very bumpy. So when I was doing my workouts, I, I finally had to start doing my workouts on the rug instead of the hardwood floor because I was slipping and sliding all over the place. And now whenever I go for a walk, my feet get wet because of the hole on the bottom of the shoe. And I am the same with socks. Hold on. I'm going to show you my socks. You might, if you'd think this is gross, turn away, but I'm going to, I'm going to take off my sock here. I am ashamed. So, as you can tell, I haven't bought new socks either. And when I do have to buy something, what I'll first do is I'll send out a text or a Facebook marketplace thing saying, hey, I'm size eight and a half, nine shoe. Uh, do you have anything available in my size that, you know, maybe you're getting ready to throw away? Because I don't care about style. I'm not a style person. I'm a comfort person. So if somebody's got a shoe that they haven't worn or, you know, it didn't fit them right, you know, people tend to keep those and I don't. So I'll first send, send out something like that. If that doesn't work, then I'll check out the thrift stores. And then if that doesn't work, I'll check out the shoe stores. Well, I was looking at Nike and they want like $150 for a pair of shoes. And I just can not do it. I can't do it. So I went to Walmart to get new socks because you just saw my socks. And I have six pairs of socks and I com I'm completely replacing them. I'm throwing away every pair of socks I have. And I got a six pack of socks. Now, I was looking at their shoes, and this is just ironic, and, and I was looking at their shoes, nothing fit right. It didn't feel good. It was like you take a step and your heel comes out the back, 
or your toes are pushed up against the front of the shoe and they just didn't work out. And I was like, kind of demoralized. And I was like, well, at least I have new socks that I can get wet when I go for a walk, but whatever. And um, I was passing by a end cap. I got so lucky, you guys. I'm going to show you what I got. This is like a shopping haul. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Regular $22.98, $5. That's even better than a thrift store price. And they're like super light. These are going to be my workout shoes because they have some tread to them. Really nice. So, and they're, you know, they look kind of cool. I, I'm not a fashion person. I don't care. I care about comfort, but five bucks. But wait, there's more. Three dollars. And they're in my size. They fit. When I take a step, the heel doesn't fall off. And my feet or my toes are not scraping the front. These are wide toe shoes. Very, very nice. And then I got a third pair for $3. Now, I get it. They're not exactly Nike. Okay, I know. They're not Nike. So they're not going to last six years probably. But you never know. You know, I've bought cheap stuff and they've lasted a few years and I've bought expensive stuff and they haven't lasted years. So I am super excited that I now have three new pairs of shoes. And yes, I am going to throw these away. As of right now, they're going in the garbage. And the ones that I'm wearing right now are also going to go in the garbage. But this is like... This, you know, people talk about being frugal and stuff, but I think that this goes a little bit beyond frugality. And I'm not talking about money trauma in my childhood. I just don't like shopping. And I I don't want to say I procrastinate. I just put it off as long. As, well, I guess that is procrastination. I put it off as long as I can until I'm basically forced to replace my shoes because they have a hole in the bottom now. Actually, this this is about to be a hole too. It's you can't really see it, but it's it's pretty deep. And these shoes were loved, <laughs> very well worn, very much loved. Actually, when I got them, I remember how light they were. And you know, technology is constantly improving. And after six years, these super light shoes feel kind of heavy. Right after putting the other ones in my hand for a minute, those ones are light. Oh yeah, it's like half the weight. This is like nothing super nothing oh yeah it's like it's like half the half the weight of these light shoes that were light five or six years ago but i'm super excited so i spent what eleven dollars on three pairs of shoes so this is something that people who are not only frugal it, i it, we're not cheap but it is like beyond what most frugal people do. And that's just something that I don't want to say I learned it. I didn't learn it. I just, you know, that's how much I don't, uh, I don't like shopping and I, I don't care that much for fashion. I mean, I don't, I'm okay. I'm all right with my fashion, but you know, not a big deal to me. I, I'm not the type of person who has to, who sees an empty space in my closet and thinks it has to be filled you know, or sees $5 in my bank account and has to spend it. But I feel like I got really, really lucky with this purchase. And it's something that happens, you know, once every six years for me. All right, folks, I don't know if this video has been helpful at all. Um, but, you know, check out, check out the clearance racks. I, I just passed right by it. I just checked out the clearance rack. I got super lucky. Um, that's what I got for you. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.